Hello, hello, and welcome to another exciting episode of Psychonauts. The last episode, we did complete basic braining, and now we're about to go explore the, a little more of the campgrounds. So, um, here we go. I like the loading screen, the birds flying around. <laughs> Whoa there, you. Come here, you. Can't do the scavenger hunt without a list. Report back to me when you have enough items for your first promotion. Now get! Find eight, uh, find eight items, and you'll be promoted to promoted four ranks. Find eight more, and you'll be promoted another four ranks. So, I have to find these items. They're located throughout the campgrounds, uh, in various places. So we'll be finding them as we go along. I don't know if I'll find them all, but I will try. So where do I? Hey, where would he gone. go? How does that old guy get around so fast? Okay, what do you have to say? You, new boy. Seen bear lurking in woods? Nope. Was it you? Giant, hairless bear? Nope. In Russia, bears much smaller. Also more hair. Less lurking. Always eager to wrestle. This one, hide and run. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever, bear. Uh, I like the Russian guy. He's funny. Okay, so let's, let's look around here. Now, I know that... There is one of the scavenger hunt items underneath this main, the main building here, so I'm gonna go see if I can go grab that one real quick. Because I know that it's, it is there. This right here is actually a secret entrance to the underground um, rail system that allows me to travel through the campgrounds pretty quickly. I will get to that here in a little bit. So over here, where is it? I know it's underneath the campgrounds. Where is it? If I can find it. Well, I'll find it later. Let's go into the campgrounds. Hey, Lily. Do you know where Sasha 9's secret lab is? Secret? It's printed on your map. Duh. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> I was just curious if you knew where Sasha 9's lab was. Because I do. Uh-huh. Oh, stupid computer. Oh, let's go inside. And in here we will find Agent Crawler again, this time working as the camp's yep. store owner. Excuse me. Is it ready? What? No, you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not going to be done for a while. It may be a week. <laughs> a week? They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. I don't even want a hamburger. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. So the cobweb take duster. Into someone's mind with you. You can clean up. They're happy to be rid of the webs. And you can turn them in for side cards. So like that, this allows me to clean up the cobwebs, the metal cobwebs that are in people's brains and their minds. Now with that, you can change the color of some of your side powers. Oh, I never, I don't mess with that. ball and what have you and what not. Ah, now here's something every young Psy cadet needs. That's a mental magnet that allows me to collect the mental energy that will be, that I find in the mines a lot easier. Now that dowsing rod will help you find arrowheads that are buried deep. That's for all the really valuable ones are, you know. Find three or four deep deposits, and that maybe pays for itself. Yeah, this it allows me... It your money oh. because it makes your money. It allows me to find the really deep arrowheads that are worth a lot more than one apiece. Now, you take that side core there, put it together with nine side cards, and you'll have yourself a brand new side challenge marker, which is worth a whole rank, you know. Pretty... Self-explanatory. Mmm, dream fluffs. Delicious, nutritious, and cheap. Each one is packed with concentrated mental health. You shouldn't go anywhere without a pocket full of those. And obviously the dream fluff is a now. potion. All right, go get more airheads and come on back. Hey, you guys are good. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, do you have a lighter? Because if you lit it and held it up right now, that would be rad and completely insensitive to me and my issues. Oh, right, right. Oh, never mind. I forgot about the whole fire bad thing for a moment. Hey, where are you stopping? 
<laughs> oh, I thought you stopped. No, 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 no. Here. Let's go. Nothing. Okay, let's go out here. <laughs> and let's. Yeah, I think. Sorry, that's it. sorry, sorry. My bad. Not to Oh, there's one of the scavenger. Let's I, just I pick it up there. from I don't the know part if where I, I do that, that thing. Yet. No, I can't reach that yet. Do over. Two. So I'll have to get that later. Now we should go ahead and head over to Sasha Nine's lab, so let's go ahead and make our way over there. You must be a psychonaut by now! Yeah! Or even a double psychonaut! <laughs> oh no, not yet. But soon. Wow, those two are so nice. They're pouring nothing. What else can nothing. I break in your ear? Ranger Crullin. <laughs> Up here, there's another side card, and I can go across this. There's another card up here. And another card over here. <laughs> cool. I think, oh, I, whatever, I'll go up there later. Let's make our way over to... That's the lake. I need to go to the lake, and I need to go to the area where Sasha Nine's lab is. So that's all there is. That. Okay. So I'm gonna make our way over here. I need the the ball so I can travel on faster through areas. Well, that's the way to the that's the way to the parking lot. I'm getting confused. Let's go ahead and use the shortcut system. Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Kreller? What? Uh, take me to... Oh. Go to Ford's, I mean, my sanctuary. Let's go to Ford's, I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psychomaster. Kind of going off track here, but... I thought Sasha Nine's lab would be activated yet, but I have to go find it first. Now Agent Krillo is going to give us some more information. Hmm, you finally made it. It's an honor to finally meet you in person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Fort Crawler, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoon benders don't kill each other. What's titanium? What's titanium? Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Hmm? Play raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, well, I have many disguises. It, it helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <laughs> when I'm <laughs> in disguise, left. I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. So, what are what missions are you on down so, here? What mission are you on down here? Well, from here I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? 
You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, not like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. What does all this equipment do? What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. <clears throat> They'll come in pretty handy for you. I better go. Lots of work. I better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Doesn't everybody. Okay. Do you have like a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. <laughs> well, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. We just met for Agent Kreller. And uh, next episode, we're going to make our way to Agent Nine's lab so that we can uh, test out his new experiment he wanted to test on us. So um, I'm going to leave it off here. Uh, like, like and subscribe if you enjoy what you are seeing. And we will see you next time.